Welcome to another episode of My Point Three Garage. Uh, I am Chris, and uh, we're normally building older Broncos in this garage, but I am buying a new Bronco, a 2021 Ford Bronco, so I thought I would keep everybody up to date on my experience with purchasing and maybe some information you don't know. So if you don't know this, here you go. Have you been contacted by your dealer? So if you haven't been contacted by your dealer, it may mean that your reservation is a little bit later, but there's still some tips that I can uh, kind of get around because we had a small issue with, uh, with uh, this whole ordering system. So I wanted to relay that to you. So here are some tips uh, that I'm gonna throw out, which are questions that I ask my dealer that you may wanna ask yours. Number one, I wanted to know what my dealer's allocation was for the Bronco. Uh, the reason why is because uh, I've heard that the 190,000 Broncos that are being ordered right now, um, that all of those are not gonna be produced for 2021, obviously. So uh, how many? So I asked my dealer that, and the dealership said 70,000 Broncos of that 191,000 or 190,000 are going to be built for the 2021 model year. So we've already taken 190,000 and we've, we've pushed that down to 70,000. I asked my dealer what their allocation was because I heard that dealerships have from five to uh, 500 uh, allocated depending on, I've even heard of dealerships having a thousand allocated. Uh, but if you take the amount of four dealerships in the United States, which is around 3,000, 3,300, there's 400 in Canada, but I also heard Canada is kind of delayed on, on getting the Bronco possibly, I don't know. So let's just take 3,000 as a round number and divide that into 70,000. And that comes out to about 23 per dealership. Now, I don't know if all dealerships are gonna be getting them or not. Um, ours, I asked my dealership what their allocation was and they were very forthright and said, we have 105 allocated uh, and then we have 17 first editions. Um, so that is 122 allocated for my dealership. And, um, so then I asked him, where are we at in that allocation so that I know whether or not we're going to be able to get a 2021 or if we're going to have to wait. And he said that we were number 13 in the system. Number two was, is there anything in my order that is going to be, um, that's going to push the Bronco back uh, to a 2022 or to a late delivery 2021? Um, for my specs, and I had to compromise, he said no but there are going to be some delays with, for instance, uh, the Sasquatch package, the 2.7 liter engine, which comes with the Sasquatch package, um, the factory roof rack that comes with the four door, um, the black painted roof or multi-colored painted roof or body color painted roof. Uh, those are all gonna pro possibly push it back. Uh, and my next question was, so what, what's gonna determine that? And he said that the first edition should be the first ones made and those are gonna eat up a lot of the Sasquatch and 2.7 liter and so forth and so on. So, um, so I, I don't know if that's true. I don't know, I'm, not, I'm just saying that's what I was told. Uh, so, so that's gonna be a, a big determining factor of it. Because there were 7,000 first editions uh, reserved at least, obviously probably not all of those are going to be converted to orders, uh, but, uh, but that apparently is where someone's going, which was, which was one of my concerns. All right, number three, is there a markup on the retail price? So I heard that, this is just in the forums, that some dealers were marking their units up a little bit. I couldn't imagine that they would do that and Ford would have some control over it. Uh, but I also heard that some dealerships were giving a thousand dollar, up to a thousand dollar discount on some of, the, some of the units, which I also had a hard time believing because it hasn't even been produced yet. So I don't know why they would be doing discounts on it. Um, so I asked my dealer that, and my dealer said, they are not marking them up. Uh, so he actually did say they have chosen not to mark them up. So at this point, I uh, imagine they probably could have if they wanted to, but they decided that they weren't going to do that. Uh, so you might wanna ask that question just so you know if the order price is going to change. Number four, is there any further down payment needed for me before the actual uh, delivery of the unit? Um, I have heard also that there have been like, no, your $100 is fine. I also heard they might charge you $500 for the order. Um, and my dealer said, yes, there will be another $500 required for this order, uh, which I think is fine. I mean, you're, you're gonna be spending upwards of potentially $50,000 uh, 
on this vehicle. So $500 additional down is probably not that big a deal. And, and to me, I would understand uh, they need commitment from us and so so that's fine. But you might wanna ask that just in case. I have heard that you wouldn't have to put any more money down at some dealerships. And number five, what is the order in which they're going to be delivered? Um, the order in which they're going to be delivered, the answer to that question from my dealer was, they're going to be delivered by reservation number. So re by reservation date, not necessarily by order date. Now, I don't know if that's true. And obviously if you order something that is going to delay your, um, delay your unit, uh, which your dealer should be able to tell you pretty, pretty quickly, um, then you should get it in order of your reservation uh, versus in order of your order date. Um, that, that is just what's been told to me. That might be a question you might wanna ask. Now, all of that said, there's probably a lot of other questions to ask, like what is the most popular color? Uh, what is everybody ordering? Those kind of things. But man, it's only been open for like three days now. So at this point, they don't know. I, I actually did ask that question because I wanted to know. Uh, and uh, I, we were told that Area 51 was going to be one of the most popular colors. And that's based off of the Bronco Sport sales that they've had. Uh, but then closely followed by Rapid Red would be probably, the, they're saying the second most popular color. So um, we may have just got a confirmation. My wife is kind of yelling at me in the background over there. So I'm gonna end this video here uh, and we're gonna post what we ordered and whether we got our confirmation and all that kind of stuff in the next video. I hope you found this helpful. Go to my website, the order guide is on there. That's mile3garage.com. You can go down, you can download the PDF of the order guide. It actually has listed in there from Ford um, what's going to delay each model. So you can kind of take a look at that before you go and place your order. Um, and then also guys, I have merch. Uh, if you feel like supporting this and you need something to wipe your uh, grease and mitts on, uh, it absorbs uh, like the best t-shirt you've probably had. So. Thanks for the support guys. We will see you in the next episode.